Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Echi from Dead Draw Gaming, bringing you a deck profile video on what is called a Victor Lost Box. And joining me to discuss Victor Lost Box is Victor himself. Victor Ong, how are you doing today? I'm all right. I'm all right. How are you? Thank you for having me. I'm doing great. Happy to have you here and discuss this deck that is uh, what you, I think, I, th I don't remember if you said this specifically or uh, maybe Xander said it, but just said it was an incredibly difficult deck to pilot. And it's the type of deck where if you just play perfectly at Orlando, you probably do much, much better with at least the matchups that you were given, right? So I guess the first place to start with this before we get into the, the inclusions and how the deck functions and whatnot is just how you came up with this idea for this Lost Box list. Right. So there's a lot of inherent counters to Lost Box right now. Some are hard counters like Jirachi, for example, Stop Sableye. Some are softer counters like Charizard just having so much health. Um, those are hard things for, for Lost Box like, to overcome. So Lost Box has needed to adapt a little bit in this format and find basically answers to all these different problems. Um, one answer, one problem that it does have that I there is no answer for is multiple flutter mains. So you can't win against that. But everything else you can find of you can kind of answer in some way. Um, the problem is like trying to fit all that into one 60, 60 card deck. Mm -hmm. So like for example, you can use Shaman to KO. Charizard, or you can use Iron Leaves to KO Charizard. There's a lot of different ways to KO Charizard, but how do you kind of match that up with all the other things that you want to play in your deck at the same time? And this is basically, uh, after brainstorming many different Lost Box ideas, this was like the most space efficient way to kind of have the, all the answers that I was hoping for. So, um, for example, knock out Charizard, knock out Iron Hands is also an inher inherent problem with Lost Box. Mm -hmm. um, but these kind of pieces kind of synergize and fit together in a way that it does meet and does match. It does counter, in a sense, the meta um, as it stands currently. And so that's how that's how this Lost Box basically rose to the top over all my other ideas. Gotcha. I think uh, what's saying that to me is just one kind of how different a lot of the attackers are. Uh, specifically, the Minior, Valiant, and Crown are very absent in basically every other Lost Box right now. We saw Minior be pretty common back uh, last format in like a super effective Lost Box build, but kind of fell out of favor. A lot of people have been using the uh, Hoopa EX to counter hands and other things mm -hmm. that are weak to fighting mm -hmm. instead. Minior has some advantages over that, of course, uh, being just not even needing anything in Lost Zone. You just need your glasses and an energy and you're good to go. And the, the Valiant and Crown is kind of the most interesting combo of cards and what usually throws people off with this list. So if you could just go over like the common lines that you would expect to match up with something like, especially something like Charizard, which I'm sure you primarily focus a lot of the way this deck functions around, um, with, with those two cards in particular would be probably a good place to start. Yeah, so the Charizard matchup, I think, is actually what differentiates this Lost Box list the most from other different Lost Box variants. We've seen a couple do well now. In, in Orlando, even a top 16, there was a top 16 Groudon list, which mm -hmm. is actually quite similar to this this build, to be honest. It's yeah. it's more similar to this build than any other Lost Box. Um, there's also Buster. the Maridon, yeah. There's also the, the Maridon, Raik, Raikou, Raikou, um, Rotom V build. Mm -hmm. There's also the, as you mentioned, the Hoopa, Rory Moon build. And then there's also Radiant Charizard builds. There's so many different builds of Lost Box. Um, but the reason I like this version the most out of all of them is the Charizard matchup. And starting with Iron Crown, normally you would play Iron Crown for the ability. That's, I mean, if you look at the future hand stack, it's almost only there for the ability and the ability alone. Mm -hmm. And there is some synergy with the ability. For example, Iron Hands can now KO Pidgeot EX and Lugia V Star with the Ampy very much. And that's like definitely not unnoticed. But actually, the primary reason the card was in the deck in the first place is for its attack, Twin Shotels. So Twin Shotels goes through Mana Fee because it goes through any effect, which means since everyone is playing 50 HP Pidgey, you have a chance, as long as you draw like the right cards and you get a little bit lucky, you always have a chance to knock out Pidgey before they before Charger players can evolve their Pidgey into Pidgeot. You always have that you you always have the initiative. And because they need one turn to set up, of course you might miss it or or whatnot, but that potential always exists every every time you flip over against flip over your and start a game against Charizard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the nice thing with this deck too, especially in the Zara matchup, is that when when that happens, when you do miss that key knockout, the ability to just KO the Pidgeot the next turn 
with AMP, you very much for three prizes to just like fix everything immediately is super, super easy to do and, and very common way to just kind of correct those kind of early game whiffs that happen every once in a while with Lost Box. Um, so speaking about the mini or two and kind of why, why, why did you go along like the super effective glasses path in general for, for figuring out all these counters? Um, should I talk about Valiant first? I'm yeah, sorry. actually, yeah, sorry. I realize <laughs> that I realize that I only talk about Crown so far. Yeah, go for it. But but Valiant, um, Valiant is also interesting. Where you see the ability, and you're like, ah, oh, that makes sense. The ability is cool. You can do cool things. But actually, again, it's mostly for the attack, and the ability kind of is like a nice bonus that ends mm -hmm. up being really cool and really useful and can find you winning lines. But if if Valiant didn't have that attack or had a worse attack, it would just not be in the deck because yeah. it does two hundred for three. Um, which doesn't sound like it enough, but you have to remember that the ability adds another 20, so it does 220 for 3, essentially, um, as long as you switch it into the active, which you will, definitely. So it does 220 for 3, which is enough to knock out basic Vs, like Arc V, Tina V, Chen Pao EX, and it basically is a replacement for Dragonite V, which has mm -hmm. rotated out. Um, the difference between 220 and 250 is just not that not that big. The, the major... Um, Maybe the only big number you're missing is the 230 from for Iron Hands. So Iron Valley can't knock out Iron Hands by itself, but you can hit that 240 number with Iron Crown too. So right. the Iron Valley is in there mostly for the attack, but the ability can also come up in random situations like Sableye knock out two 70 HP Pokemon. It can also come up where you put 58, 50 damage on a Manaphy or a Jirachi and then later use Iron Valiance's um, ability to knock out the Jirachi or the Manaphy and it enables you to attack using Sableye or Greninja that same turn. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like a pseudo yoga loop where you can knock out something, don't give them a chance to brought it back and take advantage of that Pokemon being gone in the same turn. So though that's pretty much the reason why you, you need a big hitter of some sort and Valiant kind of fits um, the energy profile and what the deck is going for the most out of all the possibilities. Right. So Kind of what I was mentioning earlier, the, the super effective glasses are very useful for three of your or three, potentially even four of your attackers in your deck. Sometimes the minion if you run into fire stuff, but particularly mm -hmm. it's for the minion or the hands and the shaman. Uh, what kind of led you down that path of going the super effective glasses route to clean up kind of the math and the matchups? Um, you really need some way to knock out iron hands, um, especially if you're respecting the future iron hands deck. Moving forward, you might not need to as much as you used to have to, but I mean, post EUIC and at EUIC, the Iron Hands deck was pretty hyped. Mm -hmm. So you need some way to knock out Iron Hands easily, and you don't really want to be playing more energy types. Yeah. Right now, the deck already plays nine energy, which is honestly one more energy than I feel like Lost Box normally needs. So, and they're not like, they're not bad or dead cards, but they're not particularly good either. Um, so, if you can, it's better to avoid playing lots and lots of different types of energies, and that's kind of how Minior fits into the deck. Mm -hmm. You, It just takes a colorless, so any energy works. And Glasses has inherent synergy with, with Shaman. Shaman is actually kind of a really bad card, but <laughs> you kind of need some way to knock out Charizard, so right, yeah. Shaman plus Glasses is is there. Um, but yeah, you, you need some way to knock out hands. Some other decks have other options, like Roy Moon has Hoopa EX, but I don't want to play Dark Energy. Right. Um, the Groudon list has Groudon, but I don't want to play Fighting Energy. So that's that's how we ended up at Minior. And it, you get the bonus of like basically destroying Snorlax. And yeah. yeah, it is it is useful sometimes against Pidgeot Snorlax, but mm, maybe not nearly as much. Yeah, my favorite thing is when I whiff Cram Attack going second turn one. I can still, mm -hmm. uh, if there's a Bidoof inactive, I can do Minior Glasses and knock it out, uh, which has come up two times somehow, <laughs> uh, which is hilarious. There's a lot of really fun lines, a lot of interesting things you can do with this list. I really like it a lot. Uh, I guess the last thing is, are there any changes you'd make to the list? Slash, uh, should people play this deck to Indie Regionals? I think the deck is really good. Um, if you are familiar with Lost Box, I would recommend it. But it is really difficult. So if you're not familiar with Lost Box, you probably don't have enough time, to be honest, to to get the reps in about seeing all the different lines. Um, I've mentioned a couple unique ones so far where you can, for example, use Valiant to ping something in a, in a unique way. Another mm -hmm. example is Shaman does 260 when your opponent's at one prize, so you can use Valiant to set up 20 damage and do 280, which knocks out some V-Stars and whatnot. Um, but there's so many different things that you can do with the deck, and even I, like the creator of the deck, someone who has played Lost Box for many, many regionals, missed out on some of them when I was playing the tournament in Orlando and actually 
I know for sure that one, that two of my ties and one of my losses could have been improved upon mm -hmm. if I had played better. And I, there's probably even more than that. So like I mentioned before, if, I, if I'm a perfect player, I, I could easily make top eight at Orlando. And I think that's the, both the strength of the deck and a weakness. Yeah, because sure. if, you're, if, if it's too difficult to reach its full potential, then you're just never going to reach its full potential. <laughs> and then you might as well just be playing a different deck. Right. And, and were there any changes you would make to the list? Um, there are like tons of different cards that I would want in the deck. So mm -hmm. probably number one right now is Bundle, given that Guardi sure. is getting more popular. But there's really it's really hard to find room. You could cut Countercatcher maybe, but that you you basically trade your matchup points from somewhere to somewhere else. I think right. Countercatcher Roxanne right. is a pretty strong play. Um, Countercatcher Iron Hand something is a pretty strong play. So um, hard to say. If you don't respect future hands at all, you could cut Minior, but your 10 pound matchup will still get harder, even though, even if you are assuming that you'll never hit future hand. So I'm not sure if you can do that, to mm -hmm. be honest. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, thank you so much for joining us for this little intro for our deck profile video, Vic. Where can people find you after this? And in any other shout outs you want to do? Yeah. So on Twitter, you can find me on underscore underscore ITVIC at Vic. Um, you'll. I do want to shout out um, Shemansky's Corner. They Alex Shemansky's little blog post or blog website. So mm -hmm. they let me write articles for them. You'll see an article. I actually had to write it today about, about this deck. So you'll oh, see perfect. see you'll see one coming out soon. <laughs> if you need more information about the deck or more background on why things are so, and feel free to just ask me some questions. I do coaching, so feel free um, feel free to hit me up for that and. If you do choose to bring this deck, good luck. It's a lot of fun. It's really difficult, but it, it's pretty cool. Awesome. Right. Thank you so much, Vic. We're going to get into some matches from my stream showing a bunch of different matchups and lines of this deck, and we'll get to those matches right now. Mm -hmm. By scary, I mean something that can kill my, my Comfe. Yes, dude. Let's go. We are rolling today. I prized a Psychic. Ooh, I can take the water because I can get to the Greninja Chaos so easily with this hand. Like so. Mega cards, dude, if they actually bring back Mega cards, it's going to go crazy. Dude, and Prime Catcher? We're cooking them so hard next turn. Can we get the actual Iron Showtails attack this time? That'd be super hype. To finally get that off in a Zard matchup. If there's ever a time, and this is it, I have everything I need in hand. I just need the actual, uh, the dude. I just need one energy in hand, and now I don't even need that, so I can just conceal. I think it's these three. Yeah, I hate losing Cram and Luminion here, but I think it's those. Now, I'd really like to just get one energy in hand. Twist. I guess I could have even done just Prime Catcher Cram Spit, but I'd rather just hold that, I guess. Probably more important to hold it. Yeah, we take the Rod there. Can I get one energy now, please? So I don't have to burn two gates. Oh, we're actually really close to 10. I could just save life, potentially. Huh. I should not have benched that preemptively, because if I get vacuum here... Okay. Did not get vacuum. I think I'm good to bench this preemptively. I think so. Gonna do this first. I think it's fine to do this. There's a third thing for me to rod in. I would totally rod here. No, just show tells. 
boop, and boop. Rotom KO might have actually been more effective too, honestly, because I could have gotten the Rotom KO. And well, I needed to like burn two gates, but yeah, I could have Rotom KO'd because they have Seal Stone in hand. That might have been more impactful. Maybe I should have just pre-charged Ninja. I should have just pre-charged Ninja and Sableye at the same time, because then I would have been ready to just destroy stuff next turn. Yeah, there was no reason not to. I should have done that. I'm going to get Iona. No, I'm not. Okay. Sometimes you get rewarded for misplaying. Sometimes good things happen to bad players. So I can seal cards first. And then we're just ripping two gates. Actually, do I have to rip? I rip one gate first and then conceal cards. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Yeah, I do have Valiant, so we're good. We good, we good, we good. Hmm. I kind of need the switch. Yeah, I have to take the switch here. I was really hoping to just get the actual card I cared about there, but it's all good. I guess hands isn't really necessary anymore. Give me the coal rest, yeah. I mean, I can steal cards yet? Oh. I was supposed to do this to start. Shoot. Whoops. <laughs> okay, that works. I guess technically I do this. I also don't have to burn a gate. So I guess I don't. What's up, Mighty Mulder? Yes, yeah, so I don't. I just retreat and then switch card. Future card's pretty good. A lot of good future cards. And a variety of uh, decks. Oh, that's a good card to grab. That's exactly what I need. Dude, I actually executed the game plan that uh, they keeps talking about. It actually became, it actually happened in a real game. Crazy. That's fine. Don't I on me? To get the blue coins, uh, it's just do your dailies. Honestly, that's uh, that's just a. It's not a. Uh, there's not an easier way. Other than like just uh just hope for Sometimes they have glitches where you can get more credits and stuff, but they're not super common. I don't know what set is optimal to buy anymore though. Bye. I thought you were saying show tell damage for a hundred. Hands is like technically relevant. But I could just get I could just get a bunch of the law zone here. I know this mini is gonna pop off. I'm excited. Um I'm not gonna use hands, right? Do I have enough switches? Yeah, I don't. I don't think the hands is gonna be real, especially with like this start, dude. Like, nah. Who's just this then? Sure, take that. Yeah. Okay. Glasses, glasses, glasses. 
Uh, my hand's kind of dead if I don't take the Luminion next turn. If I don't get Chorus top deck. It, yeah, because I don't really have a way to deal with the Arceus. Oh, he starts so bad, though. Especially because I have this, if I had the gate in hand, I mean, it wouldn't really matter too much. I mean, Minior, Minior will just carry me. It'll be fine. Let's go, my friend. Those are my favorite themes from, uh... Oh, true, I on... I Dude. I forgot. You know, I need to bench it. Yeah. But you know what? Hey, closer to Colverse now. It's all good. Dude, whiffing energy here again would be so crazy. Okay. <laughs> it's Gooch. It's our goo. Our goo. It's kind of annoying, though. That's a good draw. Um, well, I don't have hands anymore, too. Uh, that's fine. It appears I'm stuck. I mean, they don't have Arc V Star, so. I think I just don't play the Poffin still. And I just attack again. I could attach. So I can at least retreat next turn. No, I don't think I need to. I think I just smack. Yeah, they're just gonna wait till it dies. Cause if I treat it, then yeah, I can't. I still can't do anything. So I just gotta get a switch regardless. Dude, they have what? I guess I didn't want to do switch and double turbo to at least charge up. It's okay, though. This dies to uh, if it evolves, it dies to Sableye still. Although they can just grab chair in here, which is probably what they do. Assuming they have it, I don't know if Gudra plays it. No, okay, cool. So now I can get three prizes with a Sableye, if I could even get there. Okay, I'm glad I didn't shuffle the deck. Give me my Chorus. Thank you. Class Lumi, you could. This thing scares me. But not that much. Eh, no, it does scare me. There's like enough prizes on board otherwise. I'd really like to save Lie this turn. Cool man. Dude, my rescue board. No. No. There's my third compa. Okay. <laughs> Actually. Uh, what do I want to do here then? I can ninja too if I have the energy. So let me activate Seal Stone and get anything I want. Dude, this is this is where like there's too many lines and I don't know what's like correct here. I have Ultra Ball to get any mon I want. So I could just grab this. And then I don't know I'm discarding, but I still have flower too. Yeah, the fact that this thing gets stuck to is crazy. That's so bad to play down against me. They probably thought it was, they were worried I was Tina, probably. So 
So I don't have a rod in hand. Uh, am I ninjaing? I don't think so. The rod does get Minyar back too, I guess, but that's not really relevant right now. I mean, ninja's like fine. But I still need an energy if I'm going to do that. There's too many lines. What's the best play here? I have, I have options. Oh yeah, Valiant does not die. Interesting. Just Valiant swing? I unfortunately don't have that play. I need to nest I need to grab the nest ball. I'm at eight. So I can't save a lie. I gotta dig more. Should have taken the cart. I could prime catcher save a lie. So I probably have to do that this turn. There's nothing else I can really accomplish. Yeah, that's like all I can really do. Is there any reason to not just take three prizes off of it? Should I should I just take out the B-Barrel? I should probably take out the weakened Arceus before it gets scooped up or anything. And I don't know where to put the rest of the damage then. I guess there's not... I don't know. They already played two Ionos too. I can actually just dump a rod. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and do this. Uh, give me the... Uh, give me lightning. It is tricky. Yeah, I don't, I don't know... Where to put the damage. Yeah... Got to take the gate. Yeah, I think I think the upside's too high, right? Like if they whiff a useful thing here, and if this gets stuck another turn, we just win the game, right? So makes their next I know less effective too if they have one in hand already. Ninja plays online now because I got that off prizes. Ooh, the Jirachi. Tough. They, okay, they had that. This is just attack. Okay, so I think I ninja now. Take my three prizes. And then I gotta figure out how I'm taking my last two. I mean, I could just save Light Gust again, too, though, on the following turn. Actually, I think I. I don't know. What is my switch count? Two switches. So say, do I just promote Ninja here? I should have plenty of switches. I should be fine. And then I rock sand next turn, and then I cook. Okay, that gives me. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think I Ninja here regardless, though. I think I, I still have two energy prize. Right? Um, or one energy prize? I have one energy prize on. I was going to say, do I get, like, Sableye or something back? I don't know. I can. I only have one more rod. No, I have. How many rods do I have? Dude, I'm good. I'm so good. Okay, so I did have an energy. No, no, no. Yeah, so I had the Psychic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just had the one energy prize. Yeah, so I take out these two. Yeah, that's fine. I have to take the Psychic. I have to take the Psychic. Yeah. No, I have all three Psychics. Oh wait, no, I need the switch. <laughs> I literally, yeah. <laughs> I remember it, I remember it, don't worry. I got there. Uh, I don't think I need a flower here. I think we're good.
I guess I could have countercatch it already there. But I'd rather do it on the Roxanne turn. Do I play any TMs? I play... None. I play a couple tools. But no TMs. Oh yeah, I should have just benched it. You're right. Okay, so I could... I could win the game with Sableye. If I have Crown. And enough switches, but that's, that's asking for a lot. Some prizes? And a spell switch? Hmm. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Alright, I can't counter catch it because I took three prizes that turn. So I should have just done it last turn. That's fine, though. Artisan. Bleh. Uh, so what's the smartest way to sequence then? So I need to get the energy down. So I think I Rod, Energy, and Ninja. Go ahead and Gate. Go ahead and throw down the Artisan, then. Just to thin out cards. Keep the Seal Stone, because I might be able to draw into it. Oh, I need Crown, too, right? Shoot. So just grab... Damn, I don't do that, then. I just grab... Literally just crown? Uh, I got a brain blast. <laughs> uh, if I grab ninja... Because I don't have the energy in deck. Right? No, wait, I have one energy in deck. I have one energy in deck. So this is fine. I actually don't even think it's worth it, though. I think I just do this. Because I have another gate, right? No, I don't. Oh, not, I need Valiant, not Crown, dude. <laughs> I mixed them up. Teehee. Um, I thought I had energy in deck. I'm throwing. <laughs> I swear I thought there was an energy in there. Dude, I thought Crown was Valiant. That's so funny. Um, I just gotta save light this turn, yeah. Like... fine. Okay, I did not get it. Did I not grab Comfy off Artisan? I didn't. Why did I not do that? See, so yeah, I should have grabbed more energy off the rod. Then it would have been fine. But they're gonna put another... No, that's fine. Yeah, so... Take the KO. Rest here. Uh, Ten there, sure. Okay, bye, Vic. Thanks for stopping by. Nest Ball. I'm just gonna be the retreat. Uh, it has the Mist Energy, which prevents the effects of all attacks. All effects of attacks. So it blocks the Lost Mine effect. Um, I to, oh, Let me see what's in the deck first before I commit to anything. I just need an Energy or Retreat. And I'm there. You also can't kill Valiant, so I'm fine to just Nest Ball it. I don't have a retreat. I have to rot an energy. Uh, I have it guaranteed. Cool. I see. I see the line. We got there. So I play the shaman, seal stone, grab the colorus, empty out the deck, take those, rot in energy. Flower select. Attach. Bench Valiant. Retreat. Attack on bits for game. We got there. All right, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoy playing this deck, and I think it's a really strong contender and something that I'm strongly considering for the Indianapolis Regionals. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. And if you want to see more like it, please let me know what you want to see in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.